Hello, Painting with a Purpose fans. Today we're going to paint this cute, adorable panda. The colors that you will need are as follows. A bright blue, black, dark green, light green if you have it. If you don't have a light green, I'm going to show you how to make a light green with the dark green and the yellow. So you'll need yellow and you'll need two spaces of white. One we're going to keep nice and clean. The other one we're going to use for mixing colors. Your three brushes, your nice flat brush, your small round brush, and your medium round brush. We will be using all three of these today. Um, have a glass of water, not to drink, for your paintbrushes handy, and your best friend, the rag. All right, let's get started. To start, we're going to start with our nice flat brush. You're just going to dip it in the blue and you're going to draw a line about a third of the way up on the canvas. So just a straight line like that. Everything above that line is going to be your sky. To do this, because we don't want such a dark sky, put a little more paint on your brush. Start at that line and pull up. And you're going to end up with these kind of cool streaks. You need to add some more paint to your brush. Do so. So just fill in from that line up with these really cool streaks. Now, don't wipe your brush. Yes, it still has blue on it. It's totally fine. Dip right into that white and you're just going to start mixing the color. You're pulling that blue up and the blue will get lighter. So keep going up. Start at that line and pull up. Once you have some white paint on there, then you can kind of go back and forth and we'll get rid of the brush strokes in just a minute. So more white paint. Start from that line and pull up. You're just going to kind of do it in long sections and work your way all the way across the canvas. It's going to leave some streaks in there of some of that blue. Whoops. A little run. Doesn't matter. We're going to paint the bottom green. So that'll cover that right up. I think it looks kind of cool if you have like some darker green or darker blue streaks, excuse me. And then some lighter blue streaks. You're just going to keep doing that all the way across with white. Starting at that blue line and pulling that blue up until the whole top of your canvas is covered. Almost there. Now once you have it all covered, you're going to kind of go back and get rid of these brush strokes. So start at that line and go up right off your canvas, all the way across. Make sure you did your tops, bottoms, and sides only where the blue is. You're not going to want to do the bottom of this canvas or the sides where there is no blue. So to get rid of those brush strokes again, you just start at that line and go all the way up. Work your way all the way across the cam canvas. You might have to get a little more white paint on there so your brush kind of glides across the canvas. But that's going to cover up all those brush strokes. Make sure you have your canvas all nice and covered. Once you are finished with a light blue sky, you're just going to take your rag, fold it over your paintbrush a couple of times and pull all that color out. Looky there. No need for water. All the blue is gone. So this bottom down here, we're going to paint the dark green. 
So run it right up against that line and go all the way across from side to side. So when you did the sky, you went up and down. And when you're doing the grass, we're going to go from side to side. And it's really kind of thin, but it doesn't matter because we're going to layer lots more paint on this. So if you end up seeing a little bit of the canvas through there, no worries. And then to get rid of these fun little brush strokes that we have in here, start either at the left or the right and go straight across. Just running your brush right off the canvas. Don't pick it up. And look at that, they just magically disappear. You really don't even have to wipe your brush. If you have the light green, you're gonna dip into the light green just a little bit. So I have got that light green and the dark green on. And we need a big thing of bamboo. It's gonna be really big because it's gonna be the piece of bamboo that is up close. So you're going to start over here on the right hand corner and you're going to kind of come down at a slight angle. Just gradually draw that line all the way down to the bottom. So that's one side. I'm going to kind of straighten it up a little bit. And you're going to do the same thing. No need to wipe your brush. Dip it back in that lime green and you're going to come down. It kind of runs off the page. Or the canvas rather and it's a nice big thick piece of bamboo now with the paint that's already on your brush you're just going to kind of fill that in and if you need more paint get a little bit of the dark green and a little bit of the light green Now, if you don't have this light green, let me take a second and show you how to make it. So there's our one big thing of bamboo. I'm gonna wipe my brush. So if you don't have the light green, that bright green, it's actually called, um, I think it's called like an apple tart or something. You can take a little bit of the dark green kind of move it to a different space in your tray and a little bit of that yellow and mix them up. The more yellow you add, the lighter it's going to get. The more dark green you have, the darker it's going to get. So you can mix and make tons of different shades and tints of this green. So if I add more yellow right here to this little patch that I made, it's going to keep getting lighter. This is going to come in handy as we do our bamboo because you're going to mix, be mixing these greens and yellow and white to make all these different shades of green. All right, so no worries if you don't have the light green, mix the green and the yellow together. The more yellow you add, the lighter the green is going to get. All right, so now we're just going to kind of sketch with the end of our pencil a panda head and it's going to be peeking out of this bamboo so I'm just going to draw right here and it's kind of like a circle comes about from halfway up you guys see how I'm drawing on my canvas in that paint and then just circles around almost to where the green and blue meet That is where our panda head is going to be. Our panda needs some ears. So over here, he's going to have one ear. And over here, he's going to have another ear. See how you can draw on the canvas when your canvas background is still a little wet? Just by using the end of your paintbrush. All right. While the background is drawing, because if, or drying rather, um, 
we want a really white panda. So if our blue background is not completely dry, we're gonna end up with a light blue panda. We don't want that. We want a white, white panda. So we're gonna start adding some other bamboo on our canvas. So you can go ahead and wipe the green off of your paintbrush. And we're gonna get some more green. I'm gonna start with the dark green. And I'm gonna draw, there's a bamboo right over here that runs right all the way down. I'm just gonna fill that in. Now this is the dark green, but because the blue is still a little wet, it's kind of mixing it and made, making it a lighter green, which is totally fine. My bamboo keeps getting fatter and fatter as I keep trying to make it straighter and straighter, but that's okay. All right, so there's another piece of bamboo. Maybe I'm gonna take the light green. I did not wipe my brush. I just got the light green on here again. And I'm gonna have a piece of bamboo that kind of goes diagonal. It's gonna start about center at the bottom and it's just gonna cross right over the front of that. And this one is gonna be about the width of your paintbrush. So what you can do is once you have your guideline, once you've drew your guideline, you just lay that paintbrush flat on the canvas. And there you go. I'm gonna flip it over where I have more paint. All the way down. And there is another piece of bamboo and it's just the width of your red flat. Well, your brush may not be red, but your flat brush. All right, we need to add some more in here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the yellow with that dark green and see kind of what shade of green I get. I did not wash my brush. I still just am playing with the green. I'm gonna have a piece of bamboo that's gonna come up kind of right behind his ear. So there's one guideline. It's gonna cross in front. It's not gonna go all the way down of that diagonal one. And I'm just gonna keep going with my straight line, taking it behind the panda ear. So it looks like his ear is behind, or in front of, I'm sorry, the bamboo. And again, I'm just gonna lay my paintbrush flat. You have to be careful when you're coming up on the ear you might have to tilt your paintbrush a little bit to kind of curve with the ear. The same way when you continue at the bottom. But the piece of bamboo is just going to be the width of your flat brush. There we go. There's another stick of bamboo. Now I think I'm gonna have one that's gonna come kind of diagonal. I'm just using the lime green, but again, you can make your own shade of lime green. And this one's gonna just kind of gradually start at the bottom. It's gonna cross in front of all the last two pieces of bamboo that we did. And it's just gonna kind of gradually cross behind the panda here. And again, it's gonna be the width of your brush. So if you just lay your paintbrush flat, there's a nice, kind of sticks out from behind his head and then comes down all the way to the bottom of the canvas. <laughs> so, Typically when you paint, you do things in odd numbers. I have five pieces of bamboo. I think I'm gonna add um, maybe one more. Well, that would be, I might have to add two more. So let's see, let's just make this one a little bit wider and we'll call it good. So this, thing of bamboo right here is going to be wider. So if your bamboo are thinner, you're going to add more, but just kind of keep it, remember the odd numbers. 
If you have thicker bamboo, uh, maybe you only need three sticks of bamboo. But I've got five. So one, this big one, two, this one that's kind of crooked that comes down here, three, I've got this fourth one that's catty corner, and then the fifth one that runs right over here. All right, now that we have finished our bamboo, Still trying to straighten this one up. I think I've made it even thicker yet. So you gotta come down here and make it a little bit thicker too. Okay, now that we have our bamboo, touch your background. Is it still wet? It mine's still a little wet. You can see that I have a little bit of blue on my finger. So we're going to give it a little more time to dry. And we're going to start working on our leaves. So wipe your red brush off. You can actually set it in the water. Um, we're going to switch to your skinny round brush. And we're just going to make some little vines. You can use any color of green that you want. It can be a green that you mixed. It can be um, a different color that you mixed. And we're just going to add some little vines kind of off of little small branches off of our bamboo that are going to hold our leaves. So maybe I'm going to have a branch coming up here. And this one is going to have a branch coming over here and across here. And these are just our branches. And again, any color of green is totally fine. I'm going to show you when we get to making the leaves, how if they start to blend in with the bamboo that they're crossing, if your little branches are crossing some pieces, I'm going to show you how to make that area a little bit darker or lighter. I think my camera is kind of falling. There we go. Um, so that you can definitely see a definition between um, the little bamboo branches. All right, so this one is gonna have a bamboo branch coming from right here, crossing up this way, and it's gonna have another one coming across here. We're just making our branches anywhere you want to. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, this bamboo is going to have a branch that kind of comes this way right underneath that panda head maybe there's another one that comes up this way this bamboo needs a branch and you're going to put a bamboo branch from this one that comes up that way all right so now that you have your branches, let's um, work on some of the leaves. We're not going to do all of the leaves because we're going to kind of have some of the leaves come in over the panda face. But we, again, want to make sure that our blue is really, really dry before we go to paint his face. So when you do a bamboo leaf, they're really kind of thin and pointy. And you can run them right off your canvas and then you're just gonna fill them in. Any color green, any color green you want. Mix, make a new green. They do not all have to be the same color. Here's another one. Now this one kind of blends in with that piece of bamboo that's behind it. So I might take some of that darker green and kind of define the edges a little bit more so that it stands out so that you can see that there's actually a leaf in front of that piece of bamboo. This bamboo's gonna have a leaf right up here and it's too dark, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow and green together to make that lighter. Ooh, I got a drippy. I'm gonna have another one coming right here. I'm going to make these leaves it kind of reminds me of two of a set of parentheses that kind of touch. So watch, here's one parenthesis and here's the other one, but they just touch at the end. So 
If you think about that when you make your leaves, it might help you to make them a little bit easier. I'm going to switch it up and make a darker leaf right here. And another one right here. This one's going to have to be a little bit lighter because that one piece of bamboo is... I might take a little bit of white, my mixing white, that I used with my blue and just add a little bit of white in it to kind of lighten it up. So not only can you use yellow to lighten the green, but you can use your white to lighten the green. I have another leaf right here. And another one right here. I'm gonna be going behind his ear. We will have some that go in front, but this one's gonna go behind. Do one. Another little drippy. You don't want to get too much paint on your brush. It's kind of hard to control if you have too much paint on there. You can always get more. But if you have too much, it's you might make a mess. Alright, so now that I've got some leaves on here, I'm going to keep adding them. Keep changing the color variation, having some run off the canvas, some stay on the canvas, giving our blue background just a little bit longer to dry. And make add some dark in this one so it kind of stands out a little bit better. You can add as many leaves or as little leaves as you want. Um, I think the more leaves you have, the better it kind of looks. Like he's really in a bamboo grove. I'm going to add just a couple more and then we're going to switch back to working on our panda face. This leaf's a really big leaf, big healthy bamboo leaf. And you're still using that little small round brush. It's easier to control the paint if you're using the small one. All right. I'm going to put this little brush in my water. We will come back to it because we need many more leaves. In our bamboo we've got some branches that don't have any leaves on them at all but we're gonna switch over back to your red your flat brush I'm gonna always say red because my brush is red but it's whatever color your flat brush is. that's what you're gonna use and you're gonna dip into the white that you have not been using to mix with just that plain white and you're just gonna follow your little sketch line of your panda face. And your blue should be really good and dry. And you're gonna go down very carefully that line of bamboo. Now that sketch line that you used with your end of your paintbrush, you can't even see anymore. But it's always nice to have like a nice little guideline, especially when you're adding things in the background so you know what areas that you have to kind of work around. Getting a little green, like my paintbrush wasn't rinsed really well, so I'm going to rinse it again. Then wipe it on my towel. I don't want a green panda bear. There we go, much better. All right. Now that we have our panda face finished,
we are going to do the black ears. So this is where your black comes into play. And the same thing, flat brush, and then just follow the curve of that paintbrush mark that you made. And run right up next to your little panda head. There's one ear. Now we got to do the other one over here that's kind of behind the bamboo. So again, just follow your curve line. So part of his ear is going to be behind one piece of bamboo, and then the other part is going to kind of be in front of. You're just going to run it right up against his head. Try to curve it out a little bit more. All right, now we have. Is he starting to look like a panda? Super cute, right? All right, he holds on to this big thing of bamboo. So we have to make some arms. You're going to use your flat brush to draw. So if you fold your towel over it, give it a good pinch, you're going to end up with a nice flat edge and that's what you want to draw with just dip a little bit of black paint on the on the tip of it and you're gonna draw so his arms kind of remind me of well they're oval shape um, the one underneath here kind of reminds me of like a the shape of a bean maybe um, like a, a dry bean so it kind of curves out and down like a C line like it's tilted and from he, underneath his head it kind of like he's just holding on to that piece of bamboo then you're just gonna fill that in I've got a vine there um, I'm just gonna go right over it and redo the vine after this black dries because I want some leaves in front of his arm trying to make him look like he's just sneaking out of that bamboo like he's playing hide-and-seek or something so there's one arm we have to have his other arm that kind of is holding up here and it it kind of runs just right off the cam canvas so and it's like a U line a sideways U line so you're gonna start at the edge of your canvas and you're just gonna cross that piece of bamboo and then you're gonna run it right back off the edge of that canvas so it looks like a sideways U or a C line and then just go back in and fill it in how cute he's really starting to look like a panda bear all right ready to go back to the bamboo leaves so put this brush that you use for your black um, back in your water. Grab that little round brush that was in your water. And we are gonna go back to making some more bamboo leaves. We've got a lot, a lot to fill in. So any color of green combination, mix it up, make it all different. Just gonna start adding some more leaves on all these bamboo branches make this one a little darker so you can actually tell that there's a leaf there remember your leaves are kind of like parentheses that touch this is gonna just kind of run right off that edge you really can't see it, so we got to add some dark green in there. 
There we go. My camera keeps falling. It just kind of tilts. Sorry. I'll have to get that fixed before the next one that I do. Um, we've got a bamboo leaf vine right here, a little branch right here that needs some leaves on it. So we're going to go back over here. Put some more leaves on it. We're getting close to being finished. Can you believe it? Still have quite a bit to do, but. All these cute little bamboo leaves. Now this is gonna have a little bamboo leaf that kind of stretches a little bit onto his face. Right there. Maybe we're gonna have some bamboo leaves that just kind of reach across here. Like the branches off the canvas. We're gonna do one, do another one. So the leaves are kind of hanging off the canvas. That branch is out there somewhere. And let's do another one. Three. And maybe there's going to be a bamboo branch that kind of curves around and comes up this way. And we're going to add a little leaf that comes across here. Don't worry about that black is still wet. It's just going to make your green darker, which is totally fine. And then we're going to add one that kind of comes up here. And if you start picking up that white, no worries. It's just going to make that leaf lighter. And then another one right here. Before we do his eyes, we've got to really make sure I'm going to put another leaf here that our white is dry. If our white is not dry, we're not going to end up with that cool black circle around his eyes. It'll be gray. We don't want that. We do not want that. And I think I'm going to have a leaf like a bamboo leaf come kind of right here. And then let's make another one come in right here. I really want him hiding behind that. And the bamboo. And maybe there's going to be a bamboo leaf or two or three sticking up from behind his head. Like that branch is coming off this piece of bamboo. Now remember, you can add as many leaves or as little leaves as you want. It's completely up to you. And you're mixing and making your own greens. So as many different shades of green that you want. Completely up to you. All right, I think that's pretty good. He's got a lot of cool leaves. Looks like he's kind of hiding behind there and peeking out. Rinse the green off. Really, really good. Let's make sure our white is dry. Mine's still, oops, mine's still a little wet. So we're gonna move on to making those bamboo creases. Um, when you look at a bamboo branch, it kind of has the little knots in it. So we're going to make those with the white paint. 
So get a little bit of white paint on your skinny brush and you're just gonna make like these slight smile lines every so often on those big things of bamboo. So just every so often, not a lot, just some here and there. And they're those slight smile lines. And it's gonna stretch from one side all the way across. One side all the way across. This big one needs one. I'm gonna come right here. Maybe there's another one right up here. All right, so we have those bamboo lines. Um, not a lot, just a few here and there. My white is still dry. A little trick to dry your canvas um, quicker so you don't have to wait so long, I'm kind of impatient sometimes, is to take a blow dryer and you blow dry it maybe a minute and it dries really quick and it's nice and um, good and dry for when you go to add on or layer paint. I think we'll go ahead and give our eyes a go. So you're still using this brush, just wipe the white off and you're gonna switch to black. You wanna start out with just a little black because you're gonna be drawing. And the patches around his eyes, again, remind me of like a kidney bean shape um, you're going to start kind of towards the center, just past the ear, and you're going to make like a C line that kind of comes down. It's like an upside down U, but one side's going to be longer. Kind of curves out a little bit. And then once you curve back, At the bottom, it kind of curves in a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I can already tell that my white is not completely dry, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. All right. I think I will give my white a little bit longer to dry. So I'm gonna set this brush aside. You don't have to set it in the water. You don't have to wipe it, just set it aside. And this is when you're gonna use your medium round brush. This is the fun part. We're gonna make all these reeds of grass down here at the bottom. Any color of green, lots of different colors of greens, all the colors of that you have mixed, um, just load your brush up with green and you're going to start at the bottom of your canvas and pull up. All over. Keep going across. Lots of blades of grass. You're going to come up above that line where your blue and green meet. Kind of trying to camouflage it. So just do lots of blades, mix up some new greens. From the bottom of your canvas up, all the way across, it's gonna cut in front of his arm. Just like so. Use all the different colors of greens that you have used for your bamboo leaves. We'll do this while our white is finished drying. Alright, once you have it pretty full, you can go back and layer some more colors on. Uh, maybe some dark over the light. Maybe you're going to take some white, your mixing white, and dip your green brush in. I didn't want 
didn't wipe my brush off. It still has green on it. And I'm just gonna go and add maybe some little highlights. If it's too white, go back over it with green or brush it a couple of times. There's our tall grass. All right, let's hope our white is really good and dry now. So set this brush aside in your water bucket and go back to your little bitty skinny brush. We just drew the eye. So now we're gonna go over to the other side and we're gonna draw the same type of shape. They kind of meet close together, kind of curve down. Part of his eye is kind of gonna be behind this bamboo. These are just those black patches that are around the panda. And I'm getting some white. My white still isn't dry. Up toward the curved part, you're gonna draw a circle. Inside this circle is gonna stay white. Everything on the outside of that circle is going to be black. So the inside of that circle is going to stay white. Everything on the outside is going to be black. And it's kind of right there where it curves up. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So right there where it curves. You're going to kind of draw a circle. Everything inside there stays white. Everything on the outside gets painted black. This circle looks a little bit bigger than the other circle, so I might have to come in and make it just a wee bit smaller. I don't like that my white is still wet. That's when you should have used the blow dryer. All right, so I've got my nice black patches for his eyes. I'm gonna circle this up a little bit more. It's kind of flat at the bottom. There we go. And I might make this one just a wee bit bigger. Just like that. All right, perfect. In between those eyes patches, you're gonna have a little nose. It kind of slight frown at the top and it kind of comes in diagonal and then squares off at the bottom. So that slight frown at the top in on the sides like a diagonal. And then it squares off at the bottom. All right, for his little mouth, still using this little round brush, you're gonna come down the center and loop to the left like the letter J. Then you're going to come down the center and loop to the right. So it looks like a W or a fish hook, but there's his cute little face. All right, to his eyes, rinse off that black off of your little round brush. Make sure you get it all off. You might have to rinse it a couple of times and wipe it on your rag. Then you're going to take your blue and mix it with a little bit of white. You want it about the same color that your black background is, maybe a little bit darker. And you're just going to fill in the center, not all of it. You're going to leave a little bit at the top white, but everything else is going to be that blue color. So that blue color that you made by mixing white in the, the blue that you had for the background, you're just gonna kind of fill in, not all of it, you're gonna leave a little bit of white at the top with that blue. Now, you're gonna take the end of your brush. I love doing things with the end of your paintbrush. 
because it's not normal. It's fun. And you're going to load it up with a good bead of black paint. And that's going to go right at the bottom inside those blue. Load it up again, get a nice ball of paint on it. And that's going to go right at the bottom inside that blue. And voila, you have your cute little panda peeking out of a bamboo grove. Happy painting!